Hello friends, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we're going to return a sorted array without changing the original array. A side effect of the sort method is that it changes the order of the elements in the original array. In other words, it mutates the array in place. One way to avoid this is to first concatenate an empty array to the one being sorted. Remember, slice and concat return a new array, and then sort the method and then run the sort method. Use sort method in the non-mutating sort function to sort the elements of an array in ascending order. The function should return a new array and not mutate the global array variable. Cool, so first off, console.log, let's say um, the global array, <clears throat> and we should say, uh, we can just make a note, should should not change. And let's do that here as well. Uh, and we'll do this actually underneath where we actually call the array. Okay, so now, well, we're not mutating it right now, but we're also not really doing anything. Um, we want a console.log. Uh, we want this, this should be, this should actually be sorted, this is unsorted, and so right now we're getting undefined. And what we, sh what we want is 2, 3, 5, 6, 9 in that order. And so, um, I mean, one thing you can do with these is you could return um, dot 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 arr dot sort 2, 3, 5, 6, 9 and yeah, and this is the ES6 way of doing it. So I think if we ran the test, that would probably pass. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the, uh, what's that called? Uh, this is like a new operator that I, I've just been using all the time. Um, another thing that we could do, I think that we could go um, array.slice at position, yeah, like that. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, this doesn't change. This is uh, not changing the global array either. And so if we ran the test, that would pass. Um, in ascending order. We could, there's so many different ways. Um, uh, what was it? Um, sorting graphs um, from top to out. There's all sorts of different ways to sort. Oh yeah, this sorting algorithms in top tile is really interesting because it just shows you different ways of sorting that and, and their different algorithmic complexity. So if you were to do, um, there's all these different sorts of sorts. There's a insertion sort where you see it goes through and then um, these are the different data types. So as you can see, the insertion sort is the slowest. Um, this all gets kind of overly complex, but uh, yeah, the idea is that um, there's different speeds of, of sorting and there's different, um, there's different types of data. Like if your data is formed like this in reverse, then sometimes some sorts are faster and then there's different types. And these are all just different algorithms on how to write sorting algorithms. And so this is totally outside the scope of that for now, but um, sorting is a, is a cool topic in computer um, software stuff. And so therefore it's important. But the real main key here is to recognize that you're not shifting there not shifting the array. Now, if you were to go um, array.sort, you would see that this is different than this. So what we've done is we've changed the global array in doing so. And if we ran the tests after doing array.sort, that would not work because the global array should not change. And so that's um, really important. And so, yeah. I like this way the most, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, the global array doesn't change, and we're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.